Good evening, everybody. This is Phil Grigsby with the National Weather Service, and here's the uh, forecast for the upcoming week. Okay, situation overview. Um, the way we're looking at things is it's going to be uh, warm and dry weather through Tuesday. Uh, then we'll have a weak cold front come through uh, Tuesday night into early Wednesday that could bring a few showers and thunderstorms to the area. Dry and pleasant weather is expected on Wednesday and Thursday, um, and then a stronger cold front should bring a round of um, more scattered showers and thunderstorms to the area Friday night into Saturday. Severe weather is not anticipated at this time, and then we're expecting a pleasant weather day on Sunday. So here's the seven-day forecast for the New Orleans area. You can see temperatures at night will be in the 60s um, throughout the week all the way through Saturday night, and highs will be in the lower to middle 80s. Uh, this is actually near to just slightly above normal um, through Friday, and then on Saturday after that uh, stronger cold front comes through, we'll actually be below average with highs in the upper 70s, and those same conditions are also expected on Sunday. You can also see that it's fairly dry um, in terms of the forecast all the way through Thursday with rain chances never really exceeding 10%. Uh, as we get into Friday and Saturday with the stronger cold front, that's when our rain chances will increase, but they're still not very high at only 20 to 30%, and that's why we're only expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms around at this time. So overall, it looks like a very pleasant week for the New Orleans area. Heading to Baton Rouge now, here's the seven-day forecast for that portion of our area. Again, uh, lows are going to be uh, close to average in the 60s. Uh, we may see uh, some temperatures dip into the upper 50s um, both Thursday morning and Sunday morning um, after those cold fronts go through. So it may be a little bit below average at that time. High temperatures are going to be in the middle 80s. Uh, maybe even the upper 80s on Tuesday in advance of the front. That's a little bit above average uh, by about four or five degrees. So it's gonna be a fairly warm day that day. Otherwise, we're gonna be pretty close to normal through Friday. And then Saturday after that strong cold front comes through, we'll drop down into the middle to upper 70s and similar conditions are expected on Sunday. You can also see that uh, there's a little better rain chance um, with the front that comes through uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday, we have about a 20% chance of rain then, so there may be a few showers um, or rumbles of thunder around. The better rain chances are still looking like they're going to be on Friday uh, and early Saturday, where we have rain chances ranging from 25 to 35%. So we'll see some scattered showers and storms around from then. Now we'll move over to the Mississippi coast and uh, the Gulfport Biloxi area. Um, again, um, not much difference from what we have forecasted for uh, New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Uh, temperatures uh, in overnight hours will be in the 60s um, through Friday, and then we should see temperatures fall into the upper 50s uh, by the time we get into Saturday night, Sunday morning. Uh, daytime highs will be close to average in the lower 80s, uh, you know, basically through Friday, um, and then Saturday and Sunday we'll see highs more in the upper 70s again. Uh, rain chances look like they're going to be limited, much like New Orleans through uh, Friday, and then we'll see the uh, better rain chances pick up with the actual front when rain chances will range from 15 to 25 percent. Uh, so it looks like the, the overall rain risk is a little bit lower even there on the Mississippi coast compared to areas further to the west. And uh, on the final slide, I'll show why that might be more of an issue um, as we go through the rest of uh, the month here. Hopefully we'll get some beneficial rain and I'll show what I'm talking about there. Macomb area, uh, southwest Mississippi, some of our interior counties and parishes, uh, definitely um, going to see a more of a temperature range. Uh, lows before the front comes through, um, Tuesday night and Wednesday will be in the low 60s, um, highs in the upper 80s. Uh, after the front comes through on Wednesday, we'll actually see temperatures uh, cool off pretty dramatically at night. Uh, we'll see lows in the middle to upper 50s through Friday. And then with that other stronger cold fronts is expected to move through Friday night into Saturday. We'll actually see lows drop down into the upper 40s and lower 50s um, as we get into Saturday night, Sunday morning time frame. Uh, highs before the front, like I said, will be in the upper 80s. And then after the front on Wednesday, they'll be in the lower 80s. And then after the second much stronger front, the highs will only be in the middle 70s, both Saturday and Sunday. Rain chances, much like Baton Rouge, um, are going to be about 20%. Tuesday night uh, as the front goes through, the, the initial front. Uh, so not really high rain chances, but there may be a few showers and thunderstorms around. And then better rain chances as we get into Friday and Saturday morning with that much stronger cold front going through with rain chances of 30 to 35 percent expected. Um, so there, you know, we'll see uh, a little heavier downpour, a few more rumbles of thunder and stuff like that with that front coming through. Uh, but overall, it's not a bad week uh, the way it looks um, for this area. And then here's the last uh, slide that I was talking about. This is the drought monitor. 
And if you look across uh, most of our area, um, pretty much all of southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi, uh, you can see that we're what we're uh, considered to be a short-term drought, um, typically less than six months in duration, and it tends to more be of an agricultural issue um, as opposed to, you know, water supply issue. Uh, that, that's typically not a concern down here. Uh, but we are in a, you know, moderate to severe drought in portions of southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. Uh, and abnormally dry the further north you get, uh, say up around Baton Rouge, uh, the North Shore, and um, areas in southwest Mississippi. Um, so, you know, this is something that we'll have to keep an eye on. Um, if we don't get any um, decent rain in the next couple of weeks, our drought conditions may potentially worsen. Um, so that's something that we will have to keep an eye on, uh, like I said before. So that's it. Um, you know, it's a quick summary. Uh, warm and dry weather will continue through Tuesday. Uh, we'll have a weak cold front, bring a few showers and storms to the area Tuesday night. Dry and pleasant weather expected Wednesday and Thursday. And then a stronger cold front should bring another round of showers and storms to the area Friday night into Saturday. Um, severe weather is not expected. And then uh, very nice weather, it looks like, uh, as we get into Sunday. Um,